agenda is approval of the minutes from the 9th of January. That's good with the suggestions that I made. Um, I did, I made that change for Tudor's last name, spelling. Anything else? Muted. Uh, you're muted, Carolyn. We can't hear you. How's that? Okay. Perfect. I thought your suggestions and corrections very good, so I move to approve. If anybody else wants, great. We got a second. Second. Great. All in favor? Alan. Aye. Aye. All right. Approved unanimously. Great. Um, so just a quick select board meeting recap. Um, I know I sent an email with sort of a summary, but. Um, uh, Dan and I went in person and Carolyn was on Zoom and um, uh, I think it went well. Um, yeah, they, they are good with us proceeding with a CPA application. Um, we got a little bit of pushback from one of the board members um, and some others didn't really say anything, um, but they thanked us for our work and um, said that we should continue with the our committee until at least um spring town meeting mm -hmm. did, did, did you, you presented the results of the survey yep okay yeah yeah and they they and they did say we could make the request to cpa for the stabilization work yes did they actually vote on it they did not vote on it oh well they voted that we can yeah, they voted on CPA. yes and they did make a vote so you know let's continue and I, I, I right review yeah all right Yes. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say something before. Um, we were in the paper. Um, do you all get the, I don't know what it's called, the recorder? No. Re remembrance? Reminder. What? Reminder. That's it. Did you see it? I did not. Oh, it's a whole half page. <laughs> and it's not, <laughs> that was fine, Courtney. <laughs> It's not about this select board meeting, but the meeting before, two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, so um, if I were going out, I'd brought it. So okay, that's, I'll take a look. And, um, the second time we've been in the paper about this. Yeah. Did they, did they speak um, in favor of the project? Were they neutral? Were they skeptical? Well, we're of the just project? reporting. Um, I didn't read the whole thing. You know, it gets kind of boring. But it did have yeah. your picture, Courtney. It had... Uh, the three, the other three of us. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yep, I see. I guess because you were sitting there um, running the meeting. I'm I didn't sure. make the cut. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll send that around. I just pulled it up. Um, anything else about the on the select board? No, I thought the select board was excellent. Um, and um discussing this i mean we did have and it was a valid um question about separating non non uh, hadley residents versus hadley yeah. in their responses yeah. i think you answered that very well courtney thank you yeah no um because the not the non hat it doesn't really matter if we're going for cpa money what you know, that's not tax money or directly tax money. At yeah. least for now, yeah. Partly. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, so the main uh, meat of this meeting is to finalize the CPA application. Um, so uh, I think, I think um, we should, if we haven't done this already, we should formally vote to, to request CPA funding. Oh, sure. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. We may have done this before. But yeah, let's do it before. just to be sure. Yeah. That's what we want. But now that we've got the green light, the yeah. select board, we should actually. I didn't hear what you said, Alan. Um, that we should vote, um, make sure that it's on record that we want to proceed with CPA. Oh, okay. So we're going to? Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. That we that we submit an application to the C to Community Preservation Committee for um, approval of CPA funds for stabilization of the building of the Russell School Building. Great. Second. 
I'll second that. Great. All in favor? Carolyn, how do you vote? Aye. All right. Unanimous. And I vote aye as well. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Usually there's a little period for discussion after motion on approval. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone want to discuss? <laughs> I, there, there's certainly uh, a lot of items to discuss when it comes to you know the the uh, actual CPA application. Um, yeah. We've we've run up the numbers, which you know for those activities certainly are going to be fairly accurate. Um, it certainly is not the whole list of things that need to be done to stabilize the building. So we're going to have to recognize that that uh, we'll probably be back for more money. Uh, the amount of money requested from CPA doesn't meet the requirement for an OPM for the project. Although I, okay. highly, I highly recommend that we, you know, you know, search for, you know, put out, have Carolyn uh, draw up uh you know an rfp to uh you know see about opm services even though it doesn't it doesn't necessarily meet the requirements um we can certainly do like a um cm at risk type uh situation and we will i don't know what CF cfm is construction management at risk uh, oh. Rather than rather than the owner's project manager, since it wouldn't be required for that amount of money, but you know, I would highly recommend first that we certainly put on an RFP for an OPM because yeah, we well, don't have anybody yeah, qualified yeah. enough to do it. I think the first step is to get approval of the money. Okay, right, and, correct. So, yeah, if the CPC committee is at, asks us question, how is this going to work, and, and you know those kinds of things, then we can get into the details. Right. I mean, I think it's part of the soft cost that's working. It's the soft cost, right? I'm, the the, mon the numbers that we put out there uh, mirror what DRA put on the table, and those included soft costs for engineering, architect, whatever. Okay, I think if we get the money, then we need to have a conversation with the town as to you know for procurement yeah. and and making sure that we have somebody other than you know you or Gary or somebody right. overseeing them. The work right yeah. but i think that's a couple steps down the road sure right? sure i'm just you know trying to put the you know thinking ahead this is yeah. what we're you know if the if, if the cpa does uh it's not, know, CPA, it's not just cpa it's a town meeting. right but if cpa votes in favor and yeah. the whole thing goes to town meeting yeah. yes that's that's where we get into that you know, i i don't think we should mention that we're going to come back to the cpa um, no, we don't know. I think we I already think we did. Say, well, this the thing is, is what we want right now, and then maybe a couple years from now, if if we they see that we've done a good, bro, uh, you know, a good good job, to come back and get more. I think my point is that you know the select board made a pretty quick decision. We gave a quick. Yeah, um, that was Jane. <laughs> right, was a fairly um, uh, brief presentation uh, you know i don't think we spent more than 30 minutes oh not more than five it seemed you know it was pretty quick between yeah. the presentation and the and the discussion and the vote um basically you know the, the select board has given us enough rope to hang ourselves so we have to make sure that we're going to go forward and follow all these things that we you know we, we have our eyes on the prize you're absolutely right carolyn when so we probably shouldn't mention that we're going to be back, no. but it, it's and happened before. Because we don't know if we let's say we get what we asked for, okay, all of it, and then we we or the town. It's not going to be us. It'll be the MBC. It'll be the town or the OPM. OPM. We'll start, you know, putting the package together and and working out details and looking at bid documents and getting estimates. We don't know what. We'll, I mean, they, I mean, the best case would be we can do this work for less than right, one, right? We're under budget, and right. then we'll have something to play with. Right. The worst case would be we only get, um, we, let's say, we have whatever we ask for, I think for me or something like that. Um, um, is that the bids start coming in so high that it's obvious we can't do all of the elements? Right, right. We, right. Get, we should have a plan in mind. Right. Should. It's either the bids come in too high or the OPM specs out work 
beyond the scope of what we need because of you know other other considerations. Uh, other considerations. I mean, we certainly you know the, the numbers they have uh, listed for the activities that we're requesting. Um, you know, they have uh, estimates for you know removal and disposal. But if this happens to be, well, we have to remove a certain amount that's asbestos contaminated, well, that adds a cost. Oh, boy, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's we'll always up with seems cost. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure that's what that's what happened with, uh, you know, our, our old Goodwin. It sounds like, you know, I'm not, I don't know until our upcoming municipal buildings committee meeting, but it sounds like we didn't ask for enough CPA money to get that project done, and we're going to have to go back to ask or, or do part of it, or do part of it, or yeah. some, somehow we're going to have to make yeah, a decision. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we can nail that. That's down. all of that is possible, but right. we have to solve those originally. Right. Into. I'm just putting the you know yeah. shedding a light on yeah. a bigger the picture. Big picture. Yeah. Right. I you know I don't want to I don't want to say this is what we're going to have to do. This is what we're going to end up doing. No, I think we afterwards when we find out really what how much everything costs, we can. Um, readjust what we want to do, what we need to do. Right. Well, exactly. the thing is, the OPM will probably um, get to it. But I have a question. Did the Goodwin go to got CPA money? The uh, library? We, yeah, we did get CPA money. We have that. almost $300,000 to do some things in Goodwin, is my understanding. We'll, we'll find out more. On the yeah. We've sort of con converged phase one and phase two and eliminated some of the phase two project stuff to fit everything into one phase. Mm, because that's historical different. that's historical preservation money. Yes, it that's is. The yeah. Costs in the CPA. And if it's already earmarked, yeah. it's, it's, already taken up. Yeah. it's already put aside. Yeah. Um, I think it's good. It's, it's instructive as to how this is all playing out in Goodwin. Now, they're not stabilizing the building. The building is stabilized already. They are upgrading the building. Yeah, right. They're accessible, yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh, and they're only doing the first floor, okay? They're putting in a bathroom and some electrical yeah, some ceiling, and ceiling work. Electrical ceiling, yeah. That, that's needed to do. So it's a, it's not, you know, it's not um, no, everything that needs to be done over there, but it's something to make the building usable. Sure. And how I, that... I didn't realize this. I didn't realize this because we're in competition now with... Not in competition. No, that money's already in your mind. Well, I know, money. but all right, it's been spent. And so this is, spent, for, this is a historical preservation project. And so there's only so much in the CPA for historical preservation. So we shall see. Yeah, that, that's, the other, that's a good, good point to, that we should probably get into. Uh, we don't know what, how the CPC will... You know what they'll no, think we about. Don't, but they, they, they I didn't know out. this before, and yeah. that puts a little. Uh, let me let me worry finish. Me. Uh, the uh, yeah, you should be worried because uh, it's a lot of money we're asking for, and we don't know. You know, and again, remember Mary Thayer gave us a presentation, uh, which we should revisit in our minds and maybe talk to her again. She gave us some numbers. The, the the limit there's two limits of what CPC can do. One is what they're willing to do, because they may have the money, and they might say, "We don't think it's a good use of the funds. It's too much." Um, I mean, there's a whole host of reasons why they could raise why they're not comfortable with spending that amount of money on Russell. Okay, um, and and also bonding it because that's the other thing they would have to bond that money. Yeah, it's not like they have that money just readily available. It's they have a lot of money. That business about bonding, I don't always understand because it's not that easy to borrow. Understand. You can borrow. You don't have to bond. You can just borrow, and it depends no. on what the uh, the rate is. No, I've been I've been down that road. Now. Okay, but let me explain. This is CPC money that is um, with they're bonding against the future revenues of the CPC. Okay, they're borrowing against themselves. They're borrowing from that's money right. that they already that's already going to be um, provided. It's not like the town's going out and borrowing money it doesn't have. It's borrowing I, money. It's the CPC. That's what you do when you borrow, Alan. You don't have to. Well, let's bar all right. Let's, let's not find out what they want to do. It's not up not, to us. All I'm saying is that there's a limit, whether it's borrowing or bonding or whatever it is. There's a limit that CPC has, and it's based on 
a variety of factors. Mary Thayer explains to us, but that's not our problem. That's not it's their that's problem. Right. That's and, right. But there's a limit. Um, I think she said they could theoretically bond, even though they've already bonded a million dollars for the play fields at Hopkins. They theoretically have enough to bond about the same amount. But what the implications of that are as far as what they yeah. what they wouldn't be able to do, how restrictive it makes them. Yeah, maybe we should talk to Mary again. Um, well, that, they, they unfortunately, were the school is in a different category <laughs> and, <laughs> and historical renovation. So that part There are three it. categories that money has to be spent on, okay? And I know that. Their money. But in addition to that, there's other money that they can yes, move yes, from right. one bag to another. There's a general, I, I don't know what they call it, it's not the general funds, but there's, you know, there's money that has accrued um, over the years, and they can use that, they can use money. For example, when I got the cemetery money, some of it was from historic preservation, but there wasn't enough in the historic preservation that year to fund that thing. So they pulled it from their 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 catch all, their their overall fund amount. I don't know what they call that, but there is a, a, a general a, fund. A, I just call it a general fund. So they, they do have the flexibility of um, you know if they've allocated three hundred thousand dollars for historic preservation, that doesn't mean that they can't do another historic preservation project out of the available funds, they just have to use the other money, not just the historic preservation money. But that, again, they, they know this stuff, Mary knows this stuff. We don't have to really know it. We just say, here's what we like. Here's what we want, here's why we want it. And they will tell us, well, we agree that this is a legitimate use of CPC money. We're, we believe, but there's a limit and here's what the limit is. And here's what the implications of the of bonding goes. I'm sure they're going to have that conversation and we just have to, you know, we can't tell them what to do. They'll tell us what they can do. Yeah, I mean, there's a, it, there's a lot of ins and outs with CPA and, you know, that's their purview is to go through all the rules and make sure everything yeah. fits within the parameters. And, uh, you know, that's that's up for them to decide. And I'm sure they'll do their job as well as they've been doing it for all these yeah. years. The, 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 the one other thought I had on that, when, when we go before CPC or when you go before CPC, um, that if there is a feeling, uh, a sentiment, that is too much money, that they, they, they're fine with spending some money on Russell, but not that much, then the question might be, can you prioritize this work? To, is it, oh, would you be, would we yeah. recommend that we do something rather than nothing? Yeah. And that we should decide that. Certainly. I mean, when, when uh, I mean, the last, the last amount of money that was approved for use on the Russell School was the $8,000 for the roofs. Yeah. And when the, the bids finally uh, came back, the contractors were saying, well, there's, you know, if time's gone by, there's just more than $8,000 worth of work there. So another amount of time went by, COVID came through and the money was returned to CPA. I mean, obviously just by those, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that happening, it's obvious that we need to spend some serious money on the building. It's not a, you know, no, the question is we're asking them for roof money, foundation money, pointing money. Uh, yes, yeah, so we yeah. should decide which what 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 projects we want to do first. And well, again, have, again, you know, those are the items that we we sort of picked out. But the OPM I know, but of those four items, which ones do we want first? Like the roof. Yeah. Do we need to know that before we apply? Or do we well, need to know about that now? No, we, not, we don't have to know that before we apply. So, so we're applying for everything. That's can we just applying. finalize this today and we can work on that next time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't mean to bring up such a, as just for discussion. <laughs> when, but, when's your next week meeting? Um, we're thinking about, well, I was thinking February 6th. Okay, you, no, you have, have to do it now because the, you have to submit this application. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. February 1st and then February 13th. Yeah, we have February to put the application day. in February 1st. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, there'll be a meeting 
On the 13th. 13th, okay. So as long as before the 13th, we yeah. have our decks lined up. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Got it. All right. So Dan put together, yes, Carolyn. Um, the, what was shown at the select board didn't have the date of the first estimation. So, of course, that has to be fixed. You saw that on screen, right? The the estimates of the of the um, repairs or stabilization at two different times, and the first time the first first column didn't have a date. Uh, Jane and you fixed it, but it didn't show up on the screen. So we have to make sure for have the application updated. we fit make sure that we have that original date. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. And that and the, what we showed it to the select board is what the application is, right? Or not? No, it's this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, Dan did a draft. Um, yeah, Alan did a draft, and then I did a draft. Yeah. Oh, okay. I never got <laughs> because of the format. It was I couldn't read it on my computer, so I've never seen it. Um, so should I just read it for everybody to look at, or how do we how do we want to handle this? Uh, I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm fine with whatever Dan did. You know, it, did you combine everything to one document? Pretty much um, showed the the old prices, the updated prices. Uh, I put some information on there. Uh, this is the one that you can you send that yeah. to me so I can see it on my computer? Yeah, yeah I, I did. Maybe I'll make it a PDF. Yeah, it was a it was an iPub, whatever the heck that is. Yeah, publisher. Yeah, publisher. and when we send and we send it into CPA, make sure it's a PDF. Yeah, otherwise they won't be able to read it. Okay. So that's different than what the select board saw. Yeah. Oh, Dan, you yeah, did. The, you filled in the app. I never mind. I just, I just uh, copied basically the format that that Alan had forwarded to us okay. uh, on more, on more than one occasion. So I use that format. I'm okay. not sure if that's a, if that's the you, that they'll, they'll be fine with that format. Okay, CPC will. They'll right. be fine. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm sure they, you know, if they ask for supporting documents, that we can just show them all the supporting yeah, documents. You don't, need, you don't need to include them all. They're all online. Yeah, I mean, they they already have a ton of this information already. So <laughs> they they have like a whole book book of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but we do have to submit some corresponding documents with the application, right? So it shows um, uh, location and details of the project or building is the project on state register of historic places. Blah, blah, blah. We already have the you have a map of it. A site plan of the building that would be nice for them. Okay. Uh, include pertinent information, including maps, photographs, diagrams, description of similar projects and endorsements, budget and funding sources. Yep. Do we have all that in one well, place? The budget, the budget is what is the that's where the one point two million dollars are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the budget. And it's based on the updated figures from the DRA. And, and I'd love to see, some, you know, show them some completed projects of CPA money. But boy, <laughs> and that's how we, there's this, the town hall columns, the Goodwin Memorial, the steeple, steeple. at the church. There's so many things that, that CPA has given money to, and they're, they're still not done. And it's just like, yeah, I don't think we need to. It's well, the CPA there. takes it away if you haven't finished it in two, right. two years. Right. And I'm certainly here to for for the you know the duration of the project. Um if the if the select board decides to cut us off at town meeting because the OPM has taken over, well that's fine with me, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna forget it and walk away. I'm yeah. probably gonna still attend any meetings that the OPM calls. Uh they'll be calling them with whoever the contact person was, probably gonna be Gary Bird because he's the one with the keys, he's the one who actually, you know, takes what's, care of what's them. OPM. Owner's project manager required by the state for jobs over 1.5 million. Okay. Don't have that. It's like a clerk of the works. Sorry. Oh, I know that word. <laughs> OP CPM, you said, or OPM? OPM. Owner's, Owner. owner's project manager. So I will pull together the map, the photos. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you don't need, they don't need a ton of detail on okay. stuff like that. And they, and they are, everybody knows what the yeah. building But, you know, the Hadley, um, historical, 
the uh, historical commission letter. That was a good letter. Okay, great. Yeah, any supporting, you know, we've got votes from historic, we got votes from uh, select board. Select board. Uh, anybody that we can get, you know, committees or, or, or um, uh, commissions that we can get votes from. So well, you've, got the, the, you've got the survey vote. The survey. That's a very oh, right. The, yeah, sure. the survey vote. Yeah. Yeah. The sur survey was done, yeah. and eighty percent or whatever the heck it was. Yeah. I know. certainly would love to know finance committee's uh, opinion on it. Um, and, and is everybody on finance? Eventually, committee? this will go to the finance committee, but not. They don't. They won't be. In fact, I don't even know if they recommend. I don't remember. Did they recommend CPC? CPA. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, the CPA has a finance committee person on it. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's, um, that's Amy. Yeah. Yeah. So well, we'll I, find out when we go to the meeting, you know. Yeah, I, I'll tell you. The other thing is the building. The building committee. Yeah. Oh, the building committee. Yeah, that'll be that's a couple uh, of days here. Days. Yeah, that's probably the most important one. In, in all of meet the projects that I've done with CPC, um, I've never had to go to the finance committee before town meeting. They've never asked me to do that. Right. So, I mean, they'll weigh in, yeah. like everybody else will. Sure. But we don't have to get their blessing. Right. Be nice if they did. We had it's it. nice to know. I mean, it, it, you know, I, I, I'm sure they all took the survey. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. It, but you know, it's nice to have the actual members of the of the committee or commission to at least give you weigh in one way or the other how they feel. So, I, I have a question about that survey. You know, as soon as it was put online, there were 300 people that responded. Who were they? I mean, how did 300 people know about that survey all, all, already at one, the very beginning? Were school, was it? You people? Know, because people are angry. You know, even the people who want the building to come down are angry. I, I don't know about that. I mean, it was like instantaneous. The first week, there were 300. Well, because we all shared with our network. Yes, that's, 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 that's the answer is we reached out to people we knew. That's how you yeah. usually do it. Uh, and then we advertised it uh, around town yeah. as well. Well, that was later, Alan. This was right away. There were 300 people. And I thought, how did they know about this survey? I think that's all of our networks. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do we, um, for the Municipal Building Committee, is that something that you guys would vote on on Wednesday to approve it? Yeah, we certainly. A, does it make um, sense to get a letter? It's on the agenda, like, and we can okay. certainly, you know, it'll be within their minutes um, how the, the committee voted on their support of the project. So how do we relate that in the uh, CBA application? Did we just say we have, you know, approval from the following committees? Yeah, but we, okay. yeah. Uh, select board voted five zero in favor. Okay. Uh, this committee voted Good. five zero in favor. How many? We got four here now. Four zero. Yeah. Five. Uh, five. Okay. Well, Emma would vote yes. It would Emma would vote. Yeah. And uh, historic voted unanimous as well. Uh, we just you know whatever we can do. Well, the building committee. I wonder if you two should abstain since you're on this committee. How many are on the building committee? <laughs> Um, it's hard to tell because the website is never up. I mean, it hasn't well, been updated since they've the, 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 the members who have been going for the last two meetings that I've gone to, which is like not many, right? Uh, one or two in the last year, yeah. Tim Nyhart, you, me, Gary, Dave Oscavich never goes to the meetings right. because of COVID, yeah. And, and uh, and and uh, David Phil, uh, senior, yeah. So and there, are, there are four other than you two. No, there's more members. They just don't show up. Oh, I think I think for this five active members, five in addition to you two. Oh, Tim, there's three others. So if you I think five maybe you should abstain to, if you have enough, because well, it'll last. Like, like you're, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah, there's no conflict. Of there's interest. no conflict of interest. What's the conflict of interest? And these like you, we don't have any financial. Um, interest in, in no, the, it's it. like you're sp stacking the deck, though. You know, we'll see how many show up. Yeah, I'm sure they'll, they'll, you know, we'll have some people show up. Tim, I didn't, I didn't see any responses, but uh, Tim sent the email out, and we David know that we're behind up. the gun. David Phil will show up, yeah. And Dave Washkevich might zoom in if the owl was there. I'm not sure, we'll yeah. see. 
I mean, it, it, you know, I really enjoy his his input. He's a really smart guy and yeah. a good old Hadley guy. And my sense is from previous meetings with the NBC when well, this has come up and we've talked about it, this has been a, a consensus that we should proceed with with seeing if we can stabilize the building. There wasn't any. I mean, we never talked about going, like, we, you know, selling it or re repurposing it or anything like that. Yeah, I stabilization, mean, I think, has gotten support, at least, you know, in the conversation. Yeah, I mean, it, it's obvious that we, you know, we, we don't have a use for it right now. But it's it's also very obvious that, it, you know, since it's in our historic, I mean, what what building is more historic than that one in the center of town? Oh, yeah. So it, it needs to, you know, at least have some attention paid to it. And uh, well, uh, the know, town should have, so the townspeople should have the option to say something. So, yeah. All right, so I'll take the next step on the application. I'll send it around for everybody to take a look at um, in the next couple days, um, okay. and then we can send it off. Anything else about CPA? Well, who's going to represent us at the at the February thirteenth and whenever it is? So the thirteenth and the twenty seventh. Yeah. Well, Courtney, you should since you're our chair. I think Dan. <laughs> I certainly will go. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it's on my calendar. I certainly will go. Yeah. I will I, go to. <laughs> I'm only going to be in in the state on the 27th. I'll enjoy it. Um, you worked and, hard for this committee. I appreciate it. Enjoy yes. it. And uh, on the 13th, um, I I have a I, I do have a conflict, and the conflict is that I'm I'm asking for money on behalf of the historical society for a project that I that I am the only one who has to explain it. Okay, I think it would be awkward for me to be explaining two projects from two separate. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm historical sure. society, should they they support this thing too? I'm sure they do. They would, except that we we meet even less frequently than they do. <laughs> the building committee. Um, I should also mention that the historical commission is going to apply for funding. Oh, for the sign. For the sign, oh. the walking tour, and the. Audio tour. Yeah. What? How much money are you talking about? Ten thousand. Yeah. See, I'm asking for eighteen thousand. Okay. But that's peanuts compared to what? Yeah. You know. We just decided today because we were going to okay. do fundraising. Right. And we realized that we couldn't yeah, yeah, do yeah. fundraising legally. So. Yeah. I mean, the, the one thing about the CPC, the they, they are anxious to have projects brought before them. Okay. Um, of course, what we're asking for and what the school asked for was, you know, different. You know, a different kind of animal, mm -hmm. big, much a big, bigger ass. But generally speaking, they want to, you know, put this money to good use. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've read uh, a bunch of the information and mission statement of the CPA, and you know, it it's amazing that they haven't themselves come up with projects because, I mean, when the when the whole uh, CPA idea was floated around Massachusetts and they started to adopt this in town after town. That was what they expected is for the CPA committee itself to start to, you know, focus in on, and pinpoint projects that they wanted to do. And I have seen none of that. Yeah, CPA. I never knew that. Yeah, I, did, I never knew that. When I joined the not, CPA. But it, it does work. It, it's worked well. It's worked well for our town. We've and, definitely... You and know, I think it's good for the CPC to be more like the neutral right. uh, arbiter of whether it passes muster or not, right. yeah. as opposed to being the advocates and the judge jury kind of thing. Right. I mean, the thing is, even if they put uh, you know, an article on town meeting floor, it's up to the town, so it's, yeah, it right. behooves them to to come up with the different ideas that Has they want. Has the town to. ever have ever rejected in Hadley the CPA uh, warrant they, article? They which one did they reject? Uh, it was from a private individual. I think they rejected one for Porter Phelps one time. Oh, was it the tobacco barn? Could be a tobacco yeah, the tobacco barn got got withdrawn. Oh, withdrawn. Okay. Yeah, because any, any. Oh, I remember of, one. It was, um, what's the name of that reservoir in, in North Hadley, the lake? Lake Warren. Uh, Miller. Uh, yeah, Lake, lake Warren. Warren. Yeah, uh, right. So there was a, there's a path going down there, and this guy wanted to have a little sidewalk <laughs> along there. <laughs> um, uh, people can certainly apply. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. It's for, you know, a lot of different things. So a, a bridge or something like that over part of the lake. It was uh, this taxpayers money and the state has, has come up with the idea. This is how the taxpayers can. Well, I know in, in, in Amherst, nothing ever was rejected. Well, I was, well, was well, curious the, about Hadley, though. The, the CPC committee, not so much the town meeting, but this committee is pretty strict about making sure that the, that the projects are eligible. They, they meet the criteria of eligibility for historic preservation, um, uh, open space, and uh, the other one. Housing. Um, Housing, yeah. But uh, so they, so some projects, you know, are, are you'd think they'd be historic preservation, but they say, no, it's not yeah. preservation. It's, you know, it's something else. So, so Courtney, I have to ask you, um, there was a walk, walking tour of Hadley before. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is this going to be updated or what? It's updated. So I pulled historical photos of each house and updated, uh, took current pictures of the house and com put comparisons. And then I interviewed several people in the community to add information in there. So it's going to be a lot longer. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah, yeah I, I, I helped with that a little bit. And read yes, that's how we met, I think. And, and uh, yeah, <laughs> she did a great job. <laughs> Thank a lot, you. A lot of hours on that. Yes, still going. <laughs> All right, so moving on. Um, so the, I just wanted to touch upon the MPPF application, um, still on hold, at least for now, until after CPA. Um, but I did check in with Ross um, from MPPF, and he said a study, this is exactly what he said, a study made within the past five years should be fine. If you know there has been a major change in the conditions since the report was written, you should probably get an update. Well, good. I'm glad. I must have talked to somebody else who okay. said no. So well, hopefully that's we good. can change the conditions over there. <laughs> one, one thing, one thing we could mention to CPC is that if we get this money, we can we can use the CPA funding as a match for right. other funding. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Right. And there may be other things out there as well. And that's why they were a little um, hesitant because our town meeting uh, right. is late. Right. But and if we, if so, money, okay. in a way, it would be better to have the um, that grant be right. next year instead of this year. Right. right. And the, and the, this project that goes forward, if any of this work goes forward, it's going to take months to get things. To a point where you know you're actually doing bid documents and things of that sort, and so we have time before anything actually happens up, up there. Yeah. Well, so, I haven't uh, done anything since yeah, well, two we weeks ago, yeah, and yeah, when that's you all we said can, forget it. So yeah, we can all turn to on that, but you know if we get the money from the CPC. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, because okay. this application is so much more difficult than the CPA yeah. application. Much, much more difficult. And it, I don't, I think it's impossible to get it done in like two months. I really do. It's I don't think we have to worry about that. We'll do it next year. Yeah. Okay. Um, so ground lease feedback from the lister. Did anyone, everyone get a chance to read through those? I know Dan did. I did. But Courtney, I don't understand. Uh, what was your initial question on this listserv? Um, so I asked... Um, uh, I went yeah, through the right. cost to rehab, which is prohibitive to the town. I said, in order to save the structure, we're considering the feasibility of selling it to a private. Well, investor. why? Why did you ask that question? Why didn't you ask? Um, because we're coming up with op options for all of the options that were listed in the survey. We want to make sure that we have as much information on all of those for the select board, for the community. Well, why didn't you ask all of them then? All of the questions. Oh, that oh, Except selling it. Because no, I was asking no, about the ground lease. I wasn't asking There's about an awful lot of information about everything else except Alan, I'm asking Courtney. What I what did you say? Because we were asking specifically about the ground lease. And the person who Alan connected me with um, has expertise in that. And she recommended that I contact the people on this listserv about the ground lease. To see if anybody had any experience with it. Yes. And the answer was no. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> the question of of selling it, um, the building or leasing the building, um, 
we're collecting all the information for all the options. We're not, we're recommending, we're not recommending it. We're saying Correct. We want to understand. Well, I, I hear that. I hear that. But it seemed to me all the options should have been let put forward. And then maybe we would have. One, no, it. no. Yeah, There's one particular question that we don't, nobody seems to ha have an answer for. And that is, how do you protect the towns if you did sell it? Yeah. Are there ways to protect the town's interest in the land? Because that's one of the things that we keep hearing whenever we raise the issue about the, of the possibility of selling the building. No, we can't sell it. We shouldn't. And the survey supports this. Don't want to sell it. The land's too important. Yeah. Okay. Which I don't disagree with. There are hundred year leases that I have heard. Exactly. Well, yes, that's, that's, that's one thing. That's one option. But there's also... Um, they, uh, we think, and this is what we were trying to tease out yeah. to no avail, was what, uh, did anybody have any exa uh, examples where it wasn't a lease, it was a sale, okay? Mm -hmm. But the sale documents had, pro or the, even the preservation restriction yeah. had proviso that if yeah. uh, there was a catastrophic loss of building yeah. that the insurance didn't cover, could you have language in there that reverts the land back to the town? Right. Uh, and I mean, in theory, you know, not being a lawyer, that should be possible. So we wanted to find out, did anybody ever, ever actually do it? Did anybody have a situation where they sold the building, uh, but they had provisos, or to use, you know, to use a general term, ground lease, um, where, you, where you sell the building, but you own the land, or some variation of, of that. Right. And the, nobody in the, who answered the question, Address that directly. So apparently nobody's done it. At least in the not, yeah, yeah, not in the recent past. I mean, it, I mean, here in town, you had the situation where the the Goodwin Memorial Library was owned by the trustees, yeah. but the land itself was owned by the town. So the other way around. Okay. The, so, the, the okay. land, the deed for the land was given to the trustees. Okay. The town built a building. Okay, so yeah. but when the when the and town nobody took knew, over, knew it for hundred years, right? Nobody knew it for hundred years. But when the town took over, yeah. and built this new library yeah. and wanted to use that building, right? Then the trustees had to yeah. sign the deed over exactly. to the town. Yeah, so that, I guess that is an example. But it is a, it's an example. But it wasn't on purpose, and it's certainly not recent. No. So say that again. Uh, the town owned the land, and the no. the trustees built the building. The other way around, Carolyn. The trustees of the of the library were, were deeded the land. They, oh, they loaned the land. Who they owned the land? land? They were deeded the land. I'm sorry, trustees, trustees owned the land. Okay. Okay, uh, got it. Okay. And the town built the building. Okay. The trustees managed it. Of course, they 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 operated it and managed it, but. Um, and we nobody. And I was I was a trustee for six years. Nobody knew that that the, there was a deed that the trustees held. We thought the town owned the land. Okay, we, thanks. We, we do now. <clears throat> anyway, that, that, I mean, it was it was just it was a shot in the dark to see if it, we could shed any light on something. But it's so. I mean, the survey clearly indicated people don't want to sell. Well, it. yeah. Well, I think that it would be interesting to know um, how many how many um, towns fully. Well, I guess I can get that from the MPPF. Never mind, because they have a, all kinds of examples of um, them funding projects in town that fully renovated uh, different buildings. So, never mind. I can get that information Thank from you. that from the state. So one comment that I thought was interesting from the listserv was from Ward Hamilton from uh, Old Mohawk. Oh, he who, commented, I didn't see his. He did, oh, you know what, he may have, yeah, no, it was in there, did you see it? I missed that. Uh, I think I did, but I just can't. Okay, well, um, he what? essentially said, whoever quoted the $16 million may have deliberately made. I'm sorry, was that? Whoever, he said that whoever quoted the $16 million in 2019 may have deliberately made it uh, made the cost prohibitive. Yeah, well, and in fact, that I think that's that is the fact. 
but we have no way to, you know, you know, yeah. these are professionals that the town paid. And if, you know, yeah. we can't accuse the town of hired, hiring somebody to, <laughs> to come up with the well, fictitious quote. The, the, DRA, yeah. the DRA came up with the closest quote, and that was $22 million. Oh, so no, no, they never came up with the $22 million. That was yeah. Yeah. Well, DRA, still in total, the total here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah the, the yeah. updated yeah. numbers is the total. You're, you're correct. The updated numbers is more like 9 or $12 million. Right, correct. And then it, yeah. the inflation makes it higher. Sure. But then the twenty million, I know, we still don't know that. Yeah, it's oh, that might be it might be seismic uh, upgrades or something. Like that. Yeah, certainly right. to bring it up to seismic code would be. What about that business about mothballing buildings that the first person we're talking doing. about? And this basic isn't that stabilizing? That, that, that mothballing and stabilization basically are the same thing. Uh, no, what she said was. Um, to put dehumidifiers in the basement. Oh, that, 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 and yeah. and um, what else did she say for upstairs? Um, mm -hmm. Some sort of keeping the heat on, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, that's not necessarily, I mean, that's a good idea. It's not necessarily essential to a building like. Oh, the Susan Liu yeah. email. Yeah. And what does this? Does um, the Russell School have any heating system at all? It has a mini split, but I think it's only for one room. Yeah, and not as in this active. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. There's nothing you can turn on. That's that's electrical, yeah. And there's no water in the building? I don't think so. I Is think uh, Gary had poured uh, uh, antifreeze and all the toilets and whatnot. doesn't look and like it. drained the there. water. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's pipes, but uh, they're not. They're all drained. I think. Yeah, I think he's drained it back. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't need water. Well, when she said mothballing, um, I think it was to keep the Mothball. level of humidity stable. And it yeah, was the very funny. first person in this, and talked about this their school building that was near. Their town hall and near the business district and all that stuff. Yeah. Anything else about that? Well, we mothballing. Have... Nobody wants to do it. Do we need to do it? Do we need to stabilize? No, mothballing. But you know, you, you're Carolyn. You're saying you're equating mothballing with dehumidifying. What this person was talking about, mothballing, yeah. is a much broader term, and essentially means stabilize the building. No, it didn't. It well, I mean, wow. stay her their version of stabilization was to yeah, keep humidifying was one keep the humidity level. level. Yeah, that's that's yeah, and also doing something that um it wouldn't leak, the roof wouldn't leak or something. You don't, you guys don't remember that it was the very first person on the lift serve. Well, we do. I think we're um, you're trying to prevent water intrusion. Yeah, that's one. That's stabilization. That's why the roof is important, and uh, you know the joints in the foundation are important. Um, uh, we have talked about you know the windows. Yeah, and doing something with the windows, uh, uh, and that may that may be the kind of thing we come back on. But that's not as big a deal as some of these other things that we need money for. Uh, but to keep the uh, keep water from getting into the through, through the uh, you know with cracked wind glass or the frames, rotted frames, you know that kind of thing. Okay, moving on. Moving on. All right. So town warrant submission. So I confirmed with the town that town meeting is May fourth, which is the first Thursday of the month. Um. So it's my understanding that we don't have to write a town warrant, right? We basically just have to. They will, yeah. You see, we'll see. write the warrant. Okay, article. perfect. Great. Um, and then next steps for that was um, I will post on social media the date of the town meeting and remind folks that this will likely be on. I'd wait till we get Okay. <laughs> I'd wait till we okay. get past CPC. Please. Okay, okay, great. Um, and then I'll do the same with the Russell School. Um, uh, survey respondents. Yeah. Anything else? 
Well, putting putting dehumidifiers in the basement is not very expensive. And that's what this person was recommending. What would be really great is if we got this money, we could hire somebody like Mohawk. You know, I'm hoping that that we put out some RFPs for OPMs, mm -hmm. and that you know they come back. We find an OPM who's willing to work with old Mohawk, and then old Mohawk yeah. actually does the bids. Yeah, you know, oh, submits bids yeah. for the and, and also takes another look at the work that needs to be done. Yeah, I mean, it certainly, um, if you know, again, we're we're not required to use an OPM if it's less than 1.5 million. So if old Mohawk comes in and says, "Yeah, it will be construction," you know, be you know, construction management at risk, and we can do the whole job for you. It, it, there's that. there's a little more risk involved, but if you, I mean, if uh, there's, no, there's nobody, I don't think there's anybody that that has the qualifications that Mohawk does, uh, and they know the building. So uh, satisfied with both CM at risk, uh, quality of the project designs and budget estimates had been approved by pre-construction services, value engineering, construction ability reviews, phasing reviews. Um, there was something in here that said, um, owners have opted or to assume more financial risk during the course of the project with relatively no contingencies. Um, contributing factor to the harmonious working relationships that most owners have enjoyed with CM at risk firms. It's just a little less formal. Yeah, but, it, but, but it's more uh, than what we're doing with Goodwood. To the extent public owners are able to capture these benefits with, while also minimizing those risks can be controlled, the public interest will be well served. Yeah. There's a, you know, this is part of a whole study that I read on on that type of procurement, um, and it makes it makes sense for like a project that there's there's not necessarily a definitive goal line because we could put a bunch of money into preserving the building and the town could still opt to sell it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's yeah. one of these things where we get our money's worth and the building stands right. and somebody still gets use of it. Yeah. And we've, you know, the CPA was used for the proper. Yeah. Uh, I I hundred percent believe that the town will get the best use out of the building, but we have to afford the yeah. options. Yeah. Keep the options open. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing on the CPC application, I don't know if the yeah. version has it. I don't know why I even had, I didn't, the contact person. Okay, they want two contact persons. Yeah, I, I can't have, remember what I put down, if, if anything, but we need to put one person, you probably from this group, like yeah. somebody from the town, and traditionally it's been the town administrator. Right, well, you had the original application you had written my name and Carolyn Brennan, yeah. but uh, after our converse, conversation with Select Board, or it was Carolyn and Jane, Oh, yeah. It was town administrator and a select oh, person. Fine. They they okay. suggested that, well, geez, you know, if anybody's going to be in charge of our buildings around here, it's going to be our maintenance guy, Gary. And I'm, so I added him to the to, to that, knowing yeah. that he's on NBC as well. Yeah. Of course, the, when they ask contact persons, it's people they can talk to, the CPC can talk to if they have questions about the project. Right. right. So I think you got on that as well. I, can I we do would, three? Can we just put three you can in? Have as many as you want. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I certainly would add Gary. I would not leave him out of the loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, you know, sure. it, at this point, he does so much. I, I don't want to put, I don't put more on his plate. Right, right. right. And yeah. if I can field questions for him or field options, that's great. But he really needs to be. I think the thing is, um, there's, 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 the, there's the business of getting through CPC in town meeting. Okay, right. Gary's not going to. He's right. not going to carry right. on. That, yeah, that's like I said. He's not <laughs> down the road, once if this get money gets approved and the town actually is doing what is Russell, what they're doing at Goodwin, then Gary's an important player. Right. That same happened with yeah. here at the library and the senior center right. and the North Hadley fire station. Gary was pretty much the point person. Yeah. And uh, you know he's he has the knowledge and expertise to you know, he knows you. how to talk to construction. Sure the, he's got the same license I do. We just you know yeah. to, yeah. know how to 
talk about the, the parameters of the project yeah. with some does he does he know that his name is on the on the application maybe well, the other there. day he didn't seem to give a crap i think he <laughs> started thinking to himself thank god i don't have to deal with it thanks for doing <laughs> but well we'll talk to him again on this. yeah we'll talk to him again <laughs> well he'll be at your building committee meeting won't he yeah yes oh okay great so next meeting february 6th monday 5 30 here and Zoom. Does that work? Yeah, I think it's on my calendar already. You know. All right. Um, I think I need a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yep.